Good morning, and on behalf of Pastor Byron L. Broussard, welcome to today's worship celebration. Communicating with the Love Center is now easier than ever. Please text the words pray, love, or donate to 404 594 5717. Text the word pray to send your prayer requests. Text the word love for information on salvation. Or text the word donate to support our ministry. After you text the word donate, you will receive a text message with a link. Click the link. This will take you to an online form that you can complete including your amount and billing information. Once you have completed the form, click the submit button at the bottom. After submitting your donation, you will receive a text message that confirms what you have given. This has been Love Center News, keeping you informed. These are the things that we are keeping in prayer this week at the Love Center. This morning, a round-the-clock effort now gearing up to clear that massive mangled debris of the collapsed Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore Harbor. But before it can be clear, officials stressing they must first complete a full assessment of the scene. I can tell you it is not going to be days or weeks or months. This is going to take time. This footage release shows police breaking down the door of President Dina Buluarte's home. The raid is part of inquiries into possible illicit enrichment and failure to declare ownership of luxury watches by the Peruvian leader. Israeli cities tonight erupting in protest after Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu sacked his defense minister today, the country's political turmoil rapidly deepening. And finally, to the latest from the investigation into American rapper Sean Diddy Combs, now Prince Harry has been named in a $30 million lawsuit against the hip-hop mogul who is facing charges of sex trafficking and sexual abuse. At dawn, on the third day, while the world slept still and silent, in a humble tomb hewn from the rock, the greatest miracle was taking place. with radiance like lightning. He brought justice and freedom with power that shook the earth. He crushed death and sin with grace beyond understanding. He cleansed all unrighteousness. Jesus is alive. He has risen. Your story isn't over. He is writing a new chapter where the lost find redemption. Where the lonesome are loved and embraced. Where the weary are given hope and rest. Now is the moment. Run to his throne. Worship the risen king. 